So, how's it going guys? Shady here back with another deck profile video and today is going to be a bit of a long one because uh, this is going to be a more budget video for uh, Fire Kings uh, because I've been playtesting with it a lot, a lot, a lot. Very uh, different uh, builds, what could be the best, what could be um, good for budget players and so... Uh, being a bit of a budget player myself, like, um, I'm not uh, on the kind of budget to, like, uh, just play off of three uh, structure decks, but uh, I'm a bit budget myself, I would say. I mean, uh, I did invest into an SP uh, recently, but that is basically it. I'm not <laughs> gonna make any major investments besides, the, besides that. Uh, <laughs> So I'm pretty budget myself, so I've been playtesting around uh, with some uh, budget variants uh, for uh, fighting. So I have two different uh, builds. Uh, I have one, f uh, one of Pure Fire Kings uh, for seventy-five dollars. Um, uh, not dollars, sorry, seventy-five euros, which is the one we that is on the screen right now, um, and um, and. Another uh, Fire King build for 85 euros, which is not pure, uh, it's a Tri Brigade version. And then I have a, another a version for a, bit, a little bit of more budget, a 200 hero uh, version of the deck. Which um, is gonna be like, if you're um, aiming to get a top deck um, and like, play it, uh, or get as much uh, as close as a top deck, I think you'd be, uh, uh, like, considering spending 200 euros on a deck. So I've made a budget version uh, of 200, and then I have two uh, under 100, so that everyone gets happy with this. Uh, you can still play uh, Fire Kings, uh, Full power, whatever. So, yeah. Uh, let's just get into uh, the deck list. So, uh, starting off with uh, the 75 euro version, um, this is just mid range, uh, pure Fire King uh, deck. Just playing three Ponyx, three Kirin. Uh, Ponyx and Kirin are th uh, the best to uh, maximize. Uh, because uh, Ponyx is your playmaker, because it searches you for Sanctuary, keeps uh, looping back to the hand, so really, really good. Uh, and Kirin is also really, really fantastic, because it um, allows you to play around um, Imperms and Veilers. Uh, it can also be an extra disruption when popped, uh, so it's really, really good, and are the ones that you're mostly always going to maximize. Uh, but then we also play Arvata Tree. And the reason for our Vata uh, tree here is that we need as much engine as possible because we're playing this with basically uh, three structure decks and staples. Uh, so we really need uh, as much engine as possible. And it's what makes this deck mid rangey because most times you're either just doing basic Ponic setups or just uh, chilling on our Vata and non engine, for example. Uh, because our Vata is a monster negate uh, that can pop. Um. Yeah, it negates and then pops, so uh, Arvata uh, is really, really good. So sometimes you play more mid-rangey with this deck, and other times you just go for a, a little bit um, bigger setups. And also uh, Arvata plus Ponyx is a really, really good setup, which I showcase in um, F um, right after the decklist. And then we're playing double Garunix, one Barong and one Rang Bali uh, for our Fire King engine. Uh, I feel like Garonix is really, really good, but you don't really want to see him in your hand. Uh, you really want to have him to play off of Island, so two is more than enough um, that you are not scared of something like a Cold Buyer or DD Crow, uh, but it's um, still not too much so that uh, it gets stuck to your hand sometimes, or just appears always in your uh, starting hand. Then of course Rung Bali is Arvata, but worse, uh, it's the um, Spell Trap Negate. And Barong is the one that searches, so it's just one and one. Really, really good. Um, then we have the Sanctuary and Island. Uh, I feel like here, unless you go off of Phonics 
having sanctuary is not that good because you're not gonna get big setups at all uh without like ponix if you just pop something and get garunix it doesn't really do anything so i would rather have um, more access to arvata and stuff uh than to just have more sanctuary so uh, yeah sanctuary 2 is really really um at what you need the most two and two really really good um i don't really like seeing island on my hand and seeing sanctuary without a monster it can be bad so yeah it's uh play the two so that it doesn't break you sometimes uh, you just want to search this and not have it in your hand um then for other um spell tra uh, traps targets for ponix we have double skyburn skyburn is also really good when you're playing mid rangey you're playing more slowly and uh, just OTKing next turn because you can also uh, put it next to Arvat and just after you do your uh, Arvat and negate you can just use Skyburn and do another interruption and can also re re be really good going into boards, going second and yeah I just really like Skyburn. Um, Skyburn 2 I think is uh, really really good here. Uh, and then we have one circle. This is basically an OTK enabler uh, in this deck. Uh, if you did your Garunix um, Xyz uh, setup, uh, next turn you have OTK plain and simple, just having circle in your hand plus the Garunix Xyz. Uh, it's m like uh, 12k damage, I think, something around it, because uh, basically, you just uh, attack for 3k and then you circle, special summon back a Kirin or something, and then pop the Eternity and Eternity special summons uh, another two from the graveyard. So it's like 10k, 11k damage um, having Garing's Eternity plus circle. So it can be really, really good to dodge stuff or to just play um, for OTKs. Um, so yeah, I just really, really, really think that in a more pure version, the one circle is really good. And then we have, uh, of course, Small World, which is incredibly, incredibly cheap now with Rarity Collection. You can find it for less than a euro, it's super, super cheap. And the good thing about Small World is that it can sh um, search anything, it can get you Ponix, it can get you an Arvata. You can use it to get uh, into uh, non-engine if you need it. Uh, if you play Kaijus on the side deck, for example, you can have a better matchup into Pearly because then you uh, can search uh, the fire Kaijus in this deck or something. Uh, so yeah, I really like Small World here. Um, and yeah, it just boosts our consistency to see Ponix. Uh, then moving on, Prosperity, another really, really good staple that was reprinted that's just so, so good. Uh, you can have a playset for like 15 euros, it's such a great card, boosts the consistency so, so much, and you don't use that much your extra deck. Uh, most of these cards are just situational or just uh, almost never going to see play, so uh, Prosperity just fits in so, so well into this build. And then we have just two tanky because uh, drawing a third one is really bad. And I just thought that having like five ways to Arvata in um, a more mid rangey deck would be okay. And of course, you can just get uh, tanky and sanctuary, and you have the Garunix XC setup because you can just search Barong and pop Barong, get uh, Garunix, and Garunix then pops. Ponyx and you still have Wrong and Ponyx next turn activating, so it's the same setup. So I I like Tinkia too. Um, that's free. I don't like it much because it gets too ricky. You don't want to see multiples of this. And with that, we have twelve non-engine spaces, and I decided to play some Ash Blossoms because Ash Blossoms is really really good and really really cheap, one hero each. Then Valor is sense, uh, so you want to play three. Uh, Droll comes in the structure deck, so you're just really, really, really well set up with it. And the bureau is also really, really cheap. And I'm not playing the imperms that come in the structure deck because of it. It's soul. Basically, this um, this pure version when it gets combo off is an it's soul deck, and I just don't want to draw into dead end traps. So I just decided that I would 
take out the imperms and just put veilers so that and traps drawn with uh, each soul are always, always life. Going into the extra deck, we play two Garunix Eternity. Uh, the second one does come up. You can also play a third one, especially in this uh, more mid range uh, version. You have a lot of space in this extra deck, so you can absolutely do it. Uh, really, really good card. Then um, Dingir's really, really cheap as well and can also uh, help you uh, in your OTKs, uh, just removing uh, really, really strong um, monsters. Uh, it non targets sins a card, so uh, it can play around really, really uh, hard to, uh, uh, to manage boss monsters. And it also gives uh, destruction protection, so really, really strong. And then I decided to play one Abyss Dweller because Abyss Dweller is going to be really, really good uh, this format. Grave effects are going to be everywhere and you can just easily make it with like an Arvata plus a Rangvali, for example. Um, I know, let's say you have a Sanctuary, Arvata and something else, a random card. You can just uh, normal some Arvata, Sanctuary, pop that random card. Um... You know, things like that. You can just go in and um, uh, do your um, fire... Uh, the Beast Weller setups really, really easily uh, with Frank Bali, Barong and Arvata. It can come up uh, against some decks, so I just decided... It's cheap, let's just put in, uh, because we have a lot of space. Then we have some Link ones. We have Anonima, because it's going to be really, really good in this deck to just go into uh, OTK lines. Uh, you can just make it with... Um, so anime is really really good uh, going second, sorry for that um, my brother just went into uh, went in, uh, here to ask me a question, so I was talking about anime uh, yeah, it can be re really really good to go OTK, sometimes you can just make it with uh, Aponix for example, and just steal an opponent's monster, uh, you can also just um, use it like to remove a Nibiru token, and then link off anima so the, you got three of your opponents uh, link token. I all almost always in the stack uh, put the Nibiru token under the extra monster zone just because of that. Um, so yeah, really really good. Uh, it was like it's like five euros, and you still have a, a lot add a lot uh, to to play with. Like we are into the extra deck. We spent what um, less than twenty euros on the main deck, so we still have like thirty. Uh, not for this, uh, like 25 euros, so yeah, uh, an okay investment. Um, then Link Reboot was uh, another 5 euros, uh, it's just really, really good. Uh, part of the Eat Soul combo, uh, it can also be a way to dodge um, Imperm on second turns because if you have Link Reboot in uh, the graveyard, uh, you can uh, pr protect Ponyx from Imperm by just quick effect tributing it in special summoning from the grave. So, um, I really, really like it. Then we have um, All Mirage. All Mirage, you can just... Um, uh, it comes up in um, in um, in combos. Basically, you can just... If when you normal summon Ponyx, you can just make an All Mirage off of it. So that you can uh, pop something else that special summons Ponyx back from the grave. And it needs to be All Mirage that you make instead of Link Rebels because of the attribute. Uh, because Almiraj is the fire, so then you can use another monster, for example, the Ponyx that you revived to make Sunlight Wolf. Uh, so Almiraj really comes up, it's like a 20 cent card, really, really good. Then Dark, Dark is also pretty inexpensive, uh, and it's really, really good to just revive something from the graveyard, it's super, super strong. You can make him really, really easily with Link Rebo. So if you have Ponyx on the field, you can just make Link Rebo with it and make Dark, special summon something. That's really, really nice. Uh, Hita comes with the structure deck, so it's basically free if you buy it. Uh, it special summons a fire from your opponent's graveyard, which is really good if your opponent ashed you or if you're playing against a fire uh, deck, which is going to be almost every meta deck because fire is going to be the attribute right uh of this format it's going to be the best attribute right now uh so ita is going to be really 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 strong 
Then we have one IP, which is like five euros. Um, it just, for example, if you prosperity and you're gonna do a link board, uh, you can instead of going for each soul, you just go for Mascarina instead, and just um, make um, a unicorn in your opponent's turn. You know. Um, That's um, why it's here. It's an um, alternative for each soul combo if you prosperity because uh, you can't draw under prosperity. So each soul is really not that good. It's like what uh, a draw one because you draw during your opponent's turn. Not that great. So um, yeah. Um, then we have each soul because there's combos to make him and drawing into non engine is really really good. Uh, and there's nothing not much better than you can do here. And then we have one Nightmare Unicorn to summon off of IP because SP is too expensive for the stack, otherwise you make SP because it's two more in it's two interruptions instead of one, and also you don't need to discard a card. But Nightmare is really really good uh, if you're playing a budget version like this one. Then here I have a Boral Sword, but it shouldn't be Boral Sword. Um it should have been the Umbla Whale, uh, which is going to be in um, another deck prof uh, profile in the same video, so um, you're going to see it later. Uh, Umbla Whale, uh, because you can make it Umbla Whale with uh, like uh, Sunlight Wolf and Mascarina, and um, then uh, you can like revive Mascarina uh, in your opponent's turn um, when you use uh, Kirin popping Umbla Whale, and then after you make uh, Unicorn, if your opponent gets rid of it, or you pop it with Garunix, you can banish Amblo Whale, and it's another disruption. So Amblo Whale fits in really, really nicely in this deck. And uh, I just wanted to put here something for OTKing at the start, but I just feel like Portal Sword is not really it for this deck. You most probably just go for normal Fire King lines with Garunix to OTK. Uh, Runix and Circle. So yeah, you play Amblo Whale here, which is like 20 cents, um, and Amblo Whale is going to be really, really good for uh, the deck. And then we have um, Underworld Goddess. Uh, Underworld Goddess, just to deal with, let's say, uh, Pearlis, for example. Uh, it's just to deal with really, really, really um, Bad matchups like uh, towers. Uh, it's just mandatory to have it in as long as Pearly is a thing, uh, because you don't have really any answers to Pearly. Uh, you could like cut the second Skyburn and include um, a Fire Kaiju in your main deck to um, search off a of small world to go into Pearly. But I just feel like having Underworld Goddess is much much better. Six heroes. And and so our uh, our deck is on the seventy five hero mark. Let's get into the deck uh, the deck replays. Uh, so you have the normal Ponyx line, uh, which is just Ponyx get Sanctuary, just the normal stuff. Sanctuary Island, and then you just pop, go for normally Garunix, and Garunix gets Barong from the deck. It's the basic uh, Xyz setup, uh, popping um, Ponyx and Barong, and getting the uh, Garunix. So now, during your opponent's standby phase, both of them are going to trigger. They're going to get Ponyx back to your hand, and then Barong is going to search for Kirin. And here, if, you're up on, if you have, for example, a Skyburn, uh, you could have Skyburn set and just pop something with uh, Garunix and then... Um, do this so it's more like disruptions because um, because then Garunix special summons again when you pop the Ponyx and then it can break something um, in your deck like for example a Kirin and get another disruption so you see uh, when you when you add like um, the, the Skyburn to this um, combo line it just gets so so much better uh, or if your opponent gets rid of Garunix at all uh, because as long as Garunix is in the graveyard, um, this gets so much better. But right here we have no way, so just Kirin, Pops, Ponyx, Special Summon. Um, you can do this uh, chaining to a Special Summon effect when you want to board wipe. So if your opponent activates the effect of Special Summons, you can chain Kirin. 
and then when uh, next uh, after resolution when your opponent special summon you can just activate sanctuary and exceed and you can do the same thing if Garunix is triggering the graveyard as long as sanctuary is chain link one because uh, sanctuary just checks on resolution to make uh, the exes so uh, you can just summon the Garunix in the same chain as long as sanctuary is um, earlier in the chain so um, then Garunix special summons and you make the exes and then the exes is a board wipe and then uh, next turn Ponyx returns to your hand have you had, and you have follow up your opponent uh, for some reason destroys Garunix you reborn two from your uh, graveyard and yeah that's the basic combo and then we have the Ponyx plus Arvata which is the the uh, soul setup. So you're gonna normal summon Ponyx, get this Sanctuary, and now we're gonna link off for Al Mirage, just like I explained earlier. Go for Sanct, Island, pop Arvata, get the Karunix, and now Arvata is gonna trigger to summon from the grave, and Garunix is gonna trigger to special summon, then Garunix triggers to pop. A Kirin from the deck and Kirin special summons the Arvata on the fifth summon, so you're protected from Nibiru during the wall combo. Um, of course, if your opponent Nibiru's and you don't have a fire monster in your hand, you're gonna have to uh, sacrifice some resources, but uh, it's way, way better than just losing your whole board. Um, so yeah, you're protected from the beer here, and now you can just link off the Garunix and Al Mirage for the Sunlight Wolf, and you link the Ponyx for Link Rebo. Since the monster was special summoned to a zone Sunlight points to, you get to add back the Kirin. And now we have a Cyber's Dark and Cyber's Fire Link 3 into Eat Soul, and now Eat Soul is going to draw instead of drawing cards for the sake of random uh, I'm just gonna use the token here to represent the draw so one draw you pass the turn and uh, do you if you want to um, to do uh, each soul draw uh, draw do it on the draw face so uh, it doesn't turn on any uh, ta talents for example uh, so yeah you get a second draw of, of each soul this turn and when your opponent activates the monster effect you go Arvata Pop Kirin, the Runix effect, pop Arvata, because it can also fast shaman from uh, the field. And it's like, if you're uh, gonna pop something just to bring back the Kirin, there's just no reason to pop Arvata in uh, the deck. You can just pop the one on the field and get the Kirin. Um, you know? Um... There's really no reason to uh, just pop a second Arvata. It's just uh, resource management. And then, of course, Kirin special summons. And when your opponent special summons, Sanctuary, board wipe again. So it's the same board wipe setup, plus a monster negate, plus a draw two win in a two card combo. Really nice. Uh, this is the most, the flashiest combo that this deck has, uh, really. Um, you're playing really, really um, like mid range, uh, like this. So, yeah, this is the most budget of the deck. Uh, the decks, uh, which is a 75 hero. If you want to play Fire Kings because you like and you don't have much money, you can go for this. If you like mid range decks, this is going to be the version for you. And now we have a second version. It's a more combo-oriented version, which is going to be the Tri Brigade. So, going into the Tri Brigade engine, we play Triple Fractal, because it's a one-card combo. Triple Kit, also really, really good, because both Kit and Fractal are fire, which synergizes with the Sanctuary and the Island, and they a Kit has effects that trigger on the Grave, so... Fractal by itself is good to maximize because it's full combo by itself and Kit plus Island is really really good also because it synergizes with uh, with it so that's really really nice and then we have two Nerval for grind games uh, the second Nerval does come up sometimes 
and we have the one Keras for uh, combos. Uh, you don't really want to see much of it. You don't really want a really big, big Tri Brigade engine. So uh, just 10 Tri Brigade cards, the Keras and the Revolt. Revolt is part of the combo, um, which is really, really good. And then you have Triple Tanky because Tanky is insane in this deck because it can get you anything. It can get you that one card combo on Fractal. It can get you um, X, X Tender and Keras. It can get to, for example, uh, the two card combo that uh, we saw um, um, just now. If you search for Arvata, it's really, really good. Um, and it's go good for both engines, so I just thought this is a great card to, um, to maximize. Plus, any access to Fractal is the same as having access to Phonix, because as long as you have another monster uh, by the side of Fractile, Fractal, Fractal can just search the Ponyx, and I'll show the combo in a bit. Uh, so, this is basically like 9 Ponyx, 10 if you count one for one, so it's really, really consistent to get to Ponyx, which I like a lot. Um, so yeah, triple tanky, then triple Ponyx, because as always, it's a Fire King deck, you want to maximize this, this card is insane. And Triple Kirin, because it also synergizes with the Tri Brigades to play around Imperm, because Imperm Valor is what hurts the Tri Brigades the most. So Kirin to play around it, it's so, so good. Like, really so, so good. Um, this card is just amazing for this deck, that's still. And then, of course, we have a little bit of a lesser um, Fire King uh, engine for the rest of the cards, because we needed space for... Tri Brigade engine to, um, to for it to synergize with us. So we only play one Garunix, one Arvata, and one Barong. We get double Sanctuary and double Island, pretty standard. Drawing into Sanctuary is a bit better in this deck as long as you have a Fire King in your hand. But I just thought that I would appreciate more to have, for example, instead of triple Sanctuary, to have like a one for one uh, and you know, we still d didn't have much space and wanted to play the 12 uh, non-engine as well, so I really, really just went with 2-2. Two, two. Uh, then we have one Skyvern because it's really, really good. And this version, you don't need Circle because it's not as focused in the Fire Kings, you know, it's more focused around um, uh, explosive power of Tri Brigades, uh, uh, mostly, you know... Um, so you don't need Circle for like OTKs, because uh, the Tri Brigade engine can also be really, really strong into helping the Fire Kings to OTK. Um, and then we have one for one because here it's actually good, because it has not just Ponyx as a target, but Nerval, because you can just uh, spare some Nerval instead and just link it off, and then Nerval searches for a Tri Brigade and you go full combo. For example, or you can just normal summon something along alongside it, make the Ferrogeet search for a Tri Brigade and full combo, um, which is really really good. Uh, and then non engine, I decided to play some talents, which is really really not expensive at all. It's five euros each or four. Um, we don't play prosperity here because we really need our extra deck for this version of the deck. So I just thought the talents will be good because it could help deal with hand traps, could help push into boards going second. It also could help uh, with consistency because if you get disrupted, you get to draw two. So uh, yeah, I really like talents here. Then we have the nine hand traps, the Ash Blossom because it's really a one euro each. And then you have Droll and Imperm which come from the structure deck. And here I didn't really uh, care much about playing and traps that are good with Itzel, because you're not really playing for Itzel in this deck. Itzel is like um, a bonus. You don't really want to uh, play for Itzel here, so um, that's that's why uh, I decided to stick with the Imperm. Uh, because it also can help going second, so we have like six cards on non-engine then can help going second, and, you know, Ash and Droll are generically really good. Uh, not draw as much, but they're generically good into this format. Going to the extra deck for Xyz, we only have the two Garunix. I really feel like Garunix is really, really good, and you don't really want it to like invest more into more uh, extra deck cards when we already have 
get um, so many uh, cards. Uh, this was like 85 euros, so uh, it's a bit expensive, more expensive than the other one. So if you already went into investing, instead of putting a second Garunix, putting like in Gears or something, it will be in the even more expensive range. Just, just feel like Garunix itself is really good for OTKing the second one. So if you use the first to go um, on your um, interruptions, and then you can use the second one to OTK because... It, it's a board wipe and then it can also destroy spell traps, so it's just really good as a two off. Then we have one Scareclaw a Light Art that you can banish uh, off of, for example, a Tri Brigade. Um, so you can just banish one, get the Tri Brigade so that you can link off the Tri Brigade plus uh, the Light Art into a Ferjit and then extend from there, for example. Um, then we have Link Rebo and Almirash as usual. This it's just, if you just play Fire King by themselves, you need the Link Rebo, the All Mirage, the Sunlight Wolf, and the Heat Soul. So it's mandatory to have in your extra deck alongside the two Garunix in every version that you're making right here. So um, so that your Fire King engine doesn't end on uh, one interruption. Or the two at max. Um... So yeah, just the usual. Uh, but Sunlight Wolf is also uh, really good into uh, this uh, Tri Brigade board. I'll I'll show show it later. Um, it can also be used as part of the board of um, the Tri Brigades. Uh, then speaking of Tri Brigades, we have one for Ajit because it's really good and you can make it with your Fire Kings, for example, and uh, so that way after you draw your stuff. You can link them off and bridge into your uh, tri brigades, or start with your tri brigades and bridge into your fire kings uh, with it. Then we have one ancient warrior's oath because you can just make it uh, with your tri brigades, and it's an ex extra interruption if you already have materials for going into an Appaloosa, for example. Really, really good. Uh, we have one Bear Brom, um, which is part of the combo, searches you for Revolt, really, really good. And it's also Fire, which can come up. This card can be revived for, with Arvata if you make it, uh, if you art summon it. So that could, could, could be nice, okay? That could be nice, especially if you do the combo that searches for Ponyx. Um, Going into your second turn, it actually can come up to like revive it with Arvata to have more link materials to just uh, go uh, into, for example, a link for Shrek, for example, for OTK. So that's really good. Uh, then we have one, I don't even say how to say it, it's one Doom Eagle. Uh, this is good in this format because it's uh, extra deck, uh, not uh, extra deck, sorry, graveyard um, format, and this just quick effect. Uh, shuffles a card in the graveyard so it can be really good in the mirror match for example just get rid of barongs or ponyx uh, for example uh, can also be uh, used in the mirror match for example to shuffle back the Kirin so they don't add it back with sunlight wolf if they're going for a full combo uh, it can be good against tear so that you just get rid of the the um, when they go to fusion summon, you just chain this and shuffle back the uh, the the tier name that they activated. Uh, so yeah, it's really good as some um, um, as some implications right now. Really, really good. Then you have one rule goals, but it's mostly here just because it's a a link three. Then we have one eat soul, one sh uh, not one, sorry, two shreg. Uh, because you mostly want to link off the first one to search into Ponyx. I'm showcasing you in a second. And then we have Appaloosa, which is really, really good. Uh, most of these cards are really, really cheap, except for Shrek, which is like 6 euros. Appaloosa is 10. Uh, everything else is cents, except for the Link Rebo. Uh, and... Uh, besides Fractal, which is like 3 euros each, everything else is also pretty cheap. So, uh, oh, and the Talents, which are also like 4 euros each. So it comes up to 85 euros if you want to play a more combo-heavy version. Uh, 
and a bit a little bit more consistent because he has like 10 ways into Ponyx. You can play this. Uh, let's get into some replays. I have three replays for you. The first is going to be Fractal or Tanky plus any Beast Warrior like Arvata, for example. So let's get into it. You're going to go Tanky at Fractal, Fractal Effect, send Kit, Kit Effect, send the Nerval, Nerval Effect with the Keras. Now we're going to activate the Keras, send the Arvata, Special Summon Keras. And now you can banish for to summon the Shrey. Yeah, what we are gonna do. And then we can link it off for a Bear Broom and Shrey adds a Ponyx. And we have not used our normal summon. So now you can go and do Fire Fire King stuff. Just the normal one card combo that you already play. Just Garunix. Get the Brong. And now you can link off. Uh, Garunix and Bearbrum into a Sunlight Wolf um, to get Garunix off the field so it gets more value next turn and to activate Bearbrum to uh, search for Revolt and shuffle a card in your hand. So we started with uh, five cards in our hand, we used two in this combo and then we shuffled one back for Revolt. So we have... The Sunlight Wolf, Revolt Setup, and the Searches in the Standby Phase. Plus two random cards in our hand, which could be non-engine, which is really, really good. Uh, you get to like decide what to shuffle up for Revolt, so you can just keep the good end traps, um, which is really, really nice. And so we go into your next turn, Standby Phase, Ponyx goes back to the hand, and Barong activates to get Irin, so you have your normal setup. And so, if you want, you can sh uh, do Revolt first, depends on what your opponent is trying to do, but what you can do is go Kirin, pop Ponyx, and then um, Garunix is gonna trigger, Garunix effect is gonna pop uh, Kirin. Uh, something you can do is, um, instead of summoning Kirin but, uh, down on Sunlight Wolf, you can summon it right here, so that now when you use Kirin to special summon back Barong, can summon Barong underneath the Sunlight Wolf and get back instantly the Kirin. What you can also do is just save this effect for when you activate Sanctuary and Xyz, so that you can chain block um, the pop effect so that your opponent can't negate it. Um, but, you know, it depends on what you have in your hand, what you want to do if you really are scared your opponent just gets rid of it or uh, stops your Xyz play. So then, as I said, Kirin special summons back the Barong and can pop something. So this is also a disruption. So one disruption right here, first disruption. And then when your opponent special summons something, you go and exceed for our second disruption on Garunix and you chain block with Sunlight Wolf to get back uh, the Kirin, for example, so that you can also have uh, always have Kirin uh, in rotation here. And then we uh, start add back Kirin and we do a board wipe, uh, which is good because we pop Ponyx and Barong this turn since we special summon back with Kirin. So next turn they are also going to trigger, giving even more follow up for us. And now whenever we want, we can just revolt, a special summon. You want to leave one card banished. So here, for example, I would special summon uh, two from the graveyard here and I will try to special summon uh, something like, for example, uh, the Keras. Like this. You want to always leave one so that if your opponent deals with the Shurei you summon, you get to search off of it. Um, so it makes sense, you know, go Revolt, Shurei, and get uh, another Disruption. So it's like three Disruptions, three Disruptions. Uh, that are not on the field, so like Aegis are not really good against this setup. Uh, you know, uh, most board breakers aren't, it's just any removal of a sanctuary that is scary. Even if they remove island, we don't care because what we lose Sunlight Wolf, we can just 
have everything else as well. It's just as long as they don't get rid of Sanctuary uh, or Revolt, uh, it's completely fine. And even if they get rid of, try to get rid of Revolt, you just activate it. You make your um, Shureg, and then when you make your Shureg, you don't activate the effect and keep it later so that when you set a special summon one of the Fire Kings, you can trigger Shureg because it triggers on special summon of another monsters as well. So, uh, yeah, the only thing that really gets rid of our setup is any uh, card like that deals with our graveyard, which banishes our graveyard or something. Or just removal of Sanctuary. Um, but still, even without Sanctuary, we still have Revolt. Uh, so yeah, that's it. And of course, now we have Shurei and Nerval to activate and Kit, which we can do. Um, we can do here just chain block Nerval, but you can just not activate Kit and go Nerval chain link one, Shurei chain link two. But if you want to sh chain block both Shurei and Nerval, you just Block with kit. That's what you want. And then you get the search, you mill one, and you get the banish. And then next turn, you have on standby phase Phonix and another search, which can be another, uh, for example, here we can only be Phonix or the third Kirin because uh, we already have Varavata in the graveyard, but you also have the option to have your Avata here so that you can just normal summon and as uh, just play off of island like this and or just go for OTK or something. But you see we have um lots of follow-up and we have some good interac interactions. We have like three disruptions. Uh one of them is a full-on board wipe which is really really good. So as long as you know when you um when you uh should uh do this uh, if you know where to place your disruptions, this is a completely killer of a board. And it's just a one and a half card combo because you only need to have Fractal or Tanky plus any Winged Beast, which is every card in your deck except for the non engine. So uh, it's really, really consistent to get this board. Um, but you can also make different boards. Uh, let's go for example, this is a brick a brick your hand. Uh, this is an advantage that I think this deck has over um, the normal Fire King version, uh, which is uh, you, even when you brick with like island plus a fire that doesn't any nothing, uh, you can like ash blossoms for example, you can still combo from here. You can go island, pop ash, get Garunix, Garunix special summons. And Garunix is going to activate to pop Kit because Kit is a fire. You can pop it with Garunix, and then in Kit effect to mill Nerval, Nerval to get Fractal. You go into your normal summon, and now even if they burn you, for example, if you play SP, you can just make SP. So you still end on SP with a breaking end through interruptions. But if not, you still have like um. You get Bearbrum and these two. You link into Appaloosa for three materials. And this does not go into Nibiru at all. It gets into Appaloosa in like summon four. And then, of course, Bearbrum gets Revolt and shuffles another card in our hand. It's really nice. So we have two non engine in our hand as well. Most probably, uh, if you break this art, you most probably have non engine in your in your hand. Uh, so yeah, uh, Appaloosa plus Revolt, really really good. Um, and of course, next turn we just Revolt. Uh, here we cannot leave one in the banished because we cannot special summon um, Bearum. So we just special summon everything and link it off for the Shureg. And then we can now do Nerval, Chain Link 1, Shrek, Chain Link 2. And get in a, a Vanish plus Fractal, and you still have Trina Gates on Appaloosa. Really, really nice. And still has follow up with a bricky hand. And, you know, the worst thing is that you have Highland here without any protection, so your opponent pops it, you lose Appaloosa, but you still have Revolt at least. 
with a super Ricky hand, which is really nice, and I like this in this deck. And then we have another combo, um, besides the normal things that you can do. There's a lot more combos that you can try to go into, but uh, of course I'm not going to do everything here, uh, especially because uh, most of them are like freestyling. You can freestyle a bit with this deck, um, depending on your hands, you can extend sometimes and stuff, which is really nice. Uh, but for example, let's imagine we have uh, the kit plus the sanctuary, which is the um, uh, gonna show off how this deck synergizes so well with Island, how the kit that synergizes so well with Island. So uh, I, I mistakenly added, but it's supposed to have the deck. So we go sanctuary, get Island, Island pop kit, get Garunix. Garunix and Kit both gonna trigger. You get want to chain block Kit with Garunix because they can't hash uh, Garunix, so it protects Kit, which is really really nice. And then you're gonna um, mill Nerval, and you once again can chain block Nerval with Garunix because Garunix destroys from deck, so your opponent really can't hash or something. The only thing they can do about it is just imperm. So, which they can do either way if it's chain link one or two, they don't care. So, um, you chain block Nerval with Garunix, really, really nice. You pop Baron, get Fractal, and you can do exactly the same. And get Appalooza Tree Material plus Revolt. But the extra Baron in the graveyard is really, really nice because it allows you to also have more disruptions in this already great board, so and by phase we get Kirin and we have our Appalooza um, negates, but now whenever we want we can go Revolt, we want to special summon the everything from the graveyard and only one from the banishment because of what I explained earlier, so we get this 3 plus Nerval to a Link 4 of Shureg Nerval, Chain Link 1, Shrek, Chain Link 2, the standard. And you get a fire monster. In this case can be in this case can be kit because we don't have kit in the graveyard right now. So we get um kit. And we still have the negates on Appalooza, but now whenever you want, whenever your opponent uh whenever you want to disrupt your opponent, you can go Kirin, Pop Kit, Special Summon. And then Garunix activates, and you can chain block it with Kit to protect Garunix from something like a bell, which is really, really nice. So you just send a fractal just because you can, uh, just to chain block. Then you go Garunix. Garunix can pop a second Kirin to get another disruption because now you can special summon back the Barong. Pop something in our opponent. So we have one, uh, we have one interaction on Revolt with Shrek. We have another with Kirin, we have three Apollos and Gates, and now we, whenever we can, uh, we want, if your opponent special summons, Sanctuary, Xyz for our uh, four different interruption, fourth different interruption, uh, mind one of them is a triple interruption, so it's like six interruptions if you use all of Appalooza, which is really really nice. And now Garunix pops everything. Which is nice because we pop the Barong and Shrek. So Shrek now gets to search for Ponyx. And Barong is going to activate next standby phase for even more follow up. Which is really nice. So we traded the kit follow up for um, Fire King follow up on Ponyx plus Barong. And now we can just OTK next turn with the Fire Kings. Right here you have. Um, Barong, you can search either Kirin or Arvata. I would probably uh, do Arvata here. Um, most probably I would do Arvata and just normal summon Arvata, for example, uh, to protect from ant traps or monster negations. Then we can just Island, Pop, Eternity, get something. And then Eternity special summons two from the de the graveyard, including Garunix, and Garunix can activate to pop some uh, the third Kirin, for example, and destroy another card, then go for an OTK with more than 10k damage. So really, really nice follow up right with this deck. These are the kind of synergy that Fire Kings have with Tri Brigade, which is really, really nice. So 85 euros 
if you like combo decks, this is going to be the deck for you. Uh, really, really nice and super, super budget friendly. So now let's go into the 200 hero Snake Eyes Fire King. So we cannot afford what wanted, but we still can play the Dival Star Engine. Um, it's around for all the cards that are here. It's 100 and 30, 135 heroes uh, for everything uh, when I got mine. Uh, the Tree Witch plus Ash plus Oak plus the Snake Eyes plus Flamberge. When I got mine, it was 135 and it was still this week. So 135 for the Dive All Star Engine, which is, of course, a bit of expensive, but this is a different um, price range, you know? It's a different price range. So if you like something that has more um, um, potential to like play around land traps and stuff, just to play more optimally, this is what you should go for, in my opinion. So uh, getting into it, we have the triple ponix, uh, still really really good in the stack. The triple Kirin. This you always, this two you always want to max. Because they are still so good, even by themselves, or just you're in, for example, mixed with the Snake Eye engine, because it also can protect the Snake Eyes from Imperm. Really, really nice. Uh, so yeah, these are, are the ones to maximize. And then I have one of everything, Garunik, Sarvata, Rangbali, and Barong, because I think they're going to be nice, uh, nice options. And then we have Triple Sanctuary, because uh, with so many fires, I feel like um, Sanctuary is um, really, 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 really great um, to have as much as possible here, because you just want to get um, your fi Fire King Garunix, for example, into rotation really well. Uh, and sometimes you can just not summon Ponix at all uh, in your line, so... Destroying insect where can be uh, really really good. Um, I feel like this is the only version where you want to play triple sanctuary besides the tri brigade. But I don't have a way to fit forty cards and triple sanctuary. Um, I I just couldn't uh, cut anything. Um, yeah, I just feel like triple sanctuary here plays better with the snake eyes than for example playing a second skyburn so i just cut the second skyburn played three sanctuary which is really nice uh then you still have the skyburn and the one circle so circle comes here um comes back here really well because you can use it with the snake eyes um sometimes to dodge imperms um and the sh could also be, um, if you find the space, could also be really good in the Tri Brigade version that I just showed, uh, because it can also um, help playing through uh, Imperm as well, as I explained. Uh, so, yeah, look into it if you're playing the Tri Brigade version, but I just couldn't find any space and I feel like Skyburn is going to be useful most times. Um, yeah. Then we have the Dive Elstar engine, three Dive Elstar. We don't have one that's so we have to hard draw it or search it with pros or head it to our hand with prosperity. Uh, so I just just play three of them. I know it's an expensive card, but it's not uh, as bad. It's like 30 euros. So it's 90 euros a playset. Uh, it's the most expensive part on the Snake Eyes engine, but it is what it is. Uh, this is like a more optimal version of the deck. So like. You know, to play optimal, sometimes you have to spend some money, and 200 heroes for like a meta deck, it's, it's actually really good, it's like, uh, mostly the same prices. Um, Unchained? One, Unchained one is also tier 1 and 200 heroes, I really like that we have these options that are um, really, really not as expensive, uh, but yeah. Um, yeah, it's an expensive card, but it's not as, expen as expensive as plays one that is more, um, acceptable so if you have the 200 um 200 uh hero budget you should go for this and to opt to just get upgrades from here it's really really simple uh you just get the selene access codes which is going to be like another 30 euros and 
having access to Selene access code uh, with because of Tybell study is really really good. So if you have another thirty euros and can do it like two hundred thirty back, go for it. Get the Selene, get the um, the access code. But I just want to stick to two hundred, two hundred exactly. So um, this is what I came up with. Um, yeah, triple witch, uh, one snake eye ash. Um, until we get the new support, one ash is optimal. Uh, you don't want to normal summon it if you don't. Uh, you just want to special summon it off of Diabelthar sometimes, uh, because you really, really do not um, have anything that combos off with it if you just normal summon it. You would need, for example, a um, sanctuary or uh, an extender to normal summon it. So one is fine. You want it to special summon off of original sinful spoils uh, most time. Um, when you get the new support, we are going to bump this up to three. Like, it's not even a question. It's going to happen. Um, really, really good. Uh, but yeah, one by now, it's like five euros as a copy. So really, really uh, not that expensive at all. And you have pretty good chances of pulling it like in your locals if you open egg off. So if you're looking into... Uh, upgrading your other decks, for example, and building uh, the Snake Eyes version. Uh, it's not that hard to pull Ash at all. I, I just did it in my last local, so... Uh, yeah, be... Um, look for those Agov um, booster packs when you go on your locals. Uh, then we have one Snake Eye Oak. Uh, this makes your one-for-one -one and original Simple Spoil so much better when you already have the rest of the combo, because now you can play through the disruptions because Oak can extend your plays. For example, if you're doing your play and you get in the bureau, you can just one for one, Oak, Oak special summons another one of your banished or in the graveyard, so it can special summon back the Phonix or can special summon um, a Snake Eye Ash, for example. Uh, it can also be follow up because if you normal special summon it in the next turn, you already have the grave. With the Ponyx and the Ash, for example, and just special summon one of them and you get more uh, from that, you know, which is really, really good. And I, I really like Oak because of it, because it makes one for one so much bust in this deck. Because now we have three targets. We have the Ash, the Ponyx, and if you don't want, if you don't need it, you can just skip it and use it with Oak to uh, extend off some plays. Uh, for example, if you get the Bureau, you at least can one for one Oak. Uh, if you still have Flamberge in deck, you can just Flamberge, uh, make, for example, an IP or something and Flamberge uh, special summons back two from the grave and you can still uh, end on, for example, Amblo Whale through Nibiru, uh, which is really, really good. I, l I really like Oak as a one-off um, in this deck. Most certainly play it and play one, -off, one for one. Because one for one is so so good in this deck as long as you play oak. Um, then you have one flamberge dragon. Um, it's part of uh, combos with the snake eyes engine. You can basically uh, it's also really good going second uh, because you can just put a monster your opponent controls in their spell and trap zone and then just link link this one off and get the revival effect. Really 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 strong. Um, I just really like, and it's also a big body, so if you want to, uh, if you have, like, Snake Eye, you use Ash and tag into this, and your opponent is not expecting, you can just go battle phase, uh, take care of a disruption your opponent has, uh, main phase to activate his other effect and take care of another, um, disruption, and so it helps you play into boards as well as extend. Really, really nice. Then we have two original sinful spoils, uh, because I feel like playing triple um, witch, uh, you really need like a second one so that uh, you don't really like go minus three if you accidentally draw it. Um, minus three, no, minus two if you accidentally draw it because uh, you have the one in, you have it stuck in your hand and you still need to discard something for witch and witch doesn't give you anything because you have the sinful spoils in your deck uh, so yeah I like the two sinful spoils if you want you can play the other uh, another sinful the, the, the sinful spoils that is like good for going second the sub submersion I think or subversion uh, but I just really like 
cool because it can also be really good sometimes uh, pairing up with like a sanctuary just sending sanctuary off if you're not going for a normal fire king setup to just extend your plays uh real like sim uh, original and uh, since we're not playing wanted we actually go into your uh, banishing effect and banishing effect is really good in this version in this build specifically since we have multiple level ones to target we have oak we have ash we have onyx you can side deck a creep car as well for that it's really really good um going into boards um and is uh, something you really should invest into if you have extra money after you build this a quick car for side hacking against things like pearly uh it's really really good in this engine because you can just search it off of ash uh or banish or by banishing um snake eye really really uh, uh spoils uh original uh so that's really good uh then the one for one as i expect i talked it's a starter uh it's an extender with folk it's just really really good uh, i I don't like it playing in pure because the only target is Ponyx and then if you have Ponyx what you're going to do? You're going to discard Ponyx just to special summon it and then your opponent ashes you and you go minus one and lose the Ponyx that you had in hand so it's just I much rather play one for one when it has multiple targets that are uh, do multiple different uh, stuff that is good for the deck so uh, yeah one for one is good in this version specifically and the Tri-Brigade version uh, as well then we have one call by. This can be uh, like your 11th uh, non engine as well, because this uh, format graveyard is a lot. It can be good on the mirror match, for example, by banishing uh, Barong. For example, they set up the Barong plus Ponyx. You can just, for example, call by the Barong, uh, which is really good. And can also call by any end traps because this deck doesn't really like most end traps sometimes. Uh, can be really good into Droll, it can be really good to go called by into an Ash Blossom on Island. Um, so I feel like called by is a really good power spell that also has implications in the format if your opponent, if you don't spend it on an end trap, you know. So called by is really good to main uh, in this format. Then we have Triple Prosperity for consistency for the deck, you need it. Triple Prosperity with Triple which Triple Ponyx is so consistent, I love it. Um, then non engine we have ten slots. Ash Blossom is one hero. Troll comes with the structures. Valor is sense, and then Nibiru is like two heroes at most. And there's version of one hero, so really, really um, cheap as well. Uh, going into the extra deck, we still have the two Garunics, one Dengir, so one Dweller. Uh, just put in Dweller because I didn't know what to put as the 15th card, and I just feel like it can come up since we were playing Rang Bali and Barong and Arvata. Um, if you're gonna do the, uh, if you're gonna do like um, um, the access code package um, um, upgrade in this deck, you can just cut dweller and cut another card, like for example the Dingir so or the Anima, for example, and just put Selene uh, access code in this extra deck. And I think that would be really good. Uh, if not, I think Deller, Dweller is fine. I just didn't know what to put in here. Um, then we have one Link Rebo, one Anima, and one Almirage. Same, same thing as always. Almirage is necessary for combos. Link Rebo is nice, especially with the Snake Eyes. Link Rebo is nice. Uh, it gets nicer neck, um, after Phantom Nightmare because it can help you play around Imperm on Ponyx when, whenever we get um, Populous. Um, so yeah, really, really good. Um, it's another reason why I like this version much more than the other two. It's, it's going to be so, so much better after Phantom Nightmare. It's going to be so easy to upgrade. You just get the two extra Snake, snake Eye Ash and you can just, for example, if Bonfire gets too expensive, you can just invest into one populace which even if it goes to like 20 euros you can invest in one in in populace as a one-off and it's still gonna be a really really good um value for you uh for your deck so um yeah it's why i like this one the most it's just gonna be so much better after the new box just get promethean princess and um and 
and populous into this deck, and it's full power, basically. You just have a little bit less consistency because of Wanted and Bonfire if it gets too expensive. Otherwise, if it's cheap, invest into Bonfire. This deck is going to be great, and you don't really even notice the lack of Wanted if you do so. Uh, but yeah, we were on the link ones. Yeah, that's basically it. Anime is the one that is more meh, but can also be good because of Nibiru, as I said earlier, to just get rid of Nibiru tokens. Uh, but if you're gonna go into the access code talker, get off of get get rid of Anima and Dweller, for example, and get the Selene and the access code in. Um, then we have one dark, pretty inexpensive, really strong this format. You make it really easy with Link Rebel. One Eater, because fire decks are really strong this format, and this is a fire deck, so Eater is going to be really good here. Uh, then we have one Sunlight Wolf for its soul lines. We have IP Mascarina for Amphibios and Blue Whale lines. Oh yeah, Sunlight Wolf is a, is a, is uh, also really good for uh, Amblue Whale lines as well. Uh, we have one Nightmare, because SP is too expensive. Uh, but if you have SP, go ahead, play it right here. It's way better than Unicorn and can be way better for you if you play around this is, uh, Disruption, for example. Um, if you get Nibiru or something, you can most times at least end on an SP, uh, on, or an IP into SP for two Disruptions, so that's really good. Um, but since we don't have uh, the 100x rears for SP, we have the poor man SP, which is Unicorn uh, Itzel, because sometimes Itzel is going to be really good. It's the one thing you're going to banish the most of Prosperity because it conflicts with its solar Prosperity, so you just get rid of it because you can go for Amblo Whale lines. Then we have Amblo Whale, this card is really, really strong and super inexpensive. It's like 20 cents. Super, super strong. And one Underworld Goddess because, as I said earlier in the other deck profile, it's really uh, good into things like Pearly, for example. So yeah, this is my um, 200... Um, version of the deck. So let's get into the replay. So of course we have the Diabell Star plus random card this card. You just go Diabell Star, this card, get uh, and here you can do two things. You can just do full um full uh, Fire King combos uh with just Fire King with summoning um for example you special summon here um the Ponyx and just do Ponyx lines, or you can spell summon Ash and still do Ponyx lines. Uh, it depends if you want to um, play around, if you care about Nibiru, because these lines play harder than into Nibiru, so uh, it it just uh, if you really care about Nibiru or not. But we're gonna spell summon Ash, Ash gets Ponyx, and we're gonna get Ponyx. Sanctuary, this is summon number three. Sanctuary. Get Island, Island Pop Ponyx, get Garunix, uh, Pop Kirin, get Ponyx, and this is what I meant by plays into Nibiru. Because right here, um, uh, we are on summon 5, right here, at this point. Like, if you're scared about, like, Nibiru, and you don't care about the, the Xyz, you can just use Ash and the Sanctuary and go into the Flamberge. So that's, uh, and instead of popping Kirin, uh, you pop Barong, so that you still have Ponyx plus Barong for uh, uh, next standby phase if you get Nibiru on 7 5 year, uh, and still have Amblo Oil if you don't get Nibiru, uh, which might be the play, uh, honestly. Uh, it depends also on your hand. If you have something like uh, Arvata, you just normal. You can just uh, normal summon Arvata and just do full um, pop Ponyx lines, like I said. Um, or if you don't care about the Xyz, uh, you can still have some disruptions without Xyz and uh, just banishing, uh, just sending a Sanctuary. So you just go. We send Ponyx and Ash. Get Flamberge. And link off into Sunlight Wolf, and now Flamberge triggers to get Ash plus Ponyx. Uh, you want to have Ponyx right here on the left, um, and never under here, because sometimes, uh, depending on what cards you have in your hand, for example, if you have an imp uh, imp um, 
the the other um, the quick play fire king i'm forgetting the name right now you can like play off of it with the one ponyx and just commit this tree into an eat soul line for example uh so it depends on what you have uh so i always like to put ponyx away from the sunlight wolf in case i decide to keep ponyx uh but here the sunlight gets back to kirin and then you go into ip because it's going to be the amblo whale line uh ip and you link for for amblo whale and pass turn next turn uh you go kirin on amblo whale whenever you want to disrupt your opponent Special Summon Kirin, and now both Amblowell and Garunix trigger Garunix Special Summons and IP Special Summons. Garunix is gonna pop from the deck. Uh, you can do either Kirin or Arvata. Depends on what your opponent has on field. Uh, of course, uh, if you want to disrupt right here with Kirin, you can pop Kirin, uh, like I'm gonna do, and, um, and, um, and pop a card of theirs as interruption number one uh but depends also on what you uh, on what you want to do so yeah right here special summoning kirin um so, sorry ponyx off of kirin ponyx can trigger right here after popping a card with kirin so we can get skyburn um and now of course whenever we want we can ip with the ponyx for a unicorn and this was, we can just discard a random card. And when your opponent special summons, we still have the Eternity. And since we pop Nightmare, we can use Emblem Whale to pop another card for our opponent. So it's first disruption on the pop Kirin, second disruption on IP, third disruption on Garunix, and a fourth disruption with Emblem Whale. So it's four disruptions, uh, one pop, uh, two pops one shuffle and a board wipe so this is the one card combo uh you just need to decide if you want to um just not pl uh give up the xc's line to play better around the bureau it's just uh depends on what you want to do and here we have for like uh if you already have sanctuary and you get ash in your hand uh this is what you can do you can do ash get ponix um, it also will um, be a little better for the Itzo line, so I'm just going to showcase Itzo line here. Um, so we just get Island, and then we pop Ponyx with Island, get Garunix, Garunix, effect to special, and then here we can pop Kirin. And here we can do this at all because we have special summon less because we normal summon the Ash, we didn't summon the Ponyx yet, we didn't uh, summon Witch, so we are far less... Um, Caring about Nibiru in this line. Now Kirin, special summons Ponyx, Ponyx effect gets Skyburn, and now you can use Ash and Ponyx to get Flamberge. And this is summon number uh, Ash, Ponyx, Garunix. This is the number four. And now we're gonna link into sunlight wolf which is number five this is the first instance your opponent can in the bureau but it is completely awful because you still gonna trigger flamberge to special summon two level ones your opponent just doesn't want you to get into uh the kirin the kirin to your hand it's completely fine you can be here and just stops you from adding with sunlight wolf but i don't really see a reason to um then you go Sunlight Wolf, get Kirin. Then uh, we go Ash for Link Rebo and get Itzel. And then here we get one draw. You set the Skyburn, so you have Itzel plus Ponyx. Uh, so we're gonna get uh, two draws. We have one disruption with Skyburn and we have Kirin set up. So we get the second draw, which you should do on draw phase. We have the Skyburn pop. Disruption number one, Garunix triggers for disruption number two because you can pop uh, a Kirin, for example. But if you don't want to, you can just pop a Barong for follow up. And now you have Kirin pop Hitzel and just make the rank eight. 
Uh, this line is also more to play with non-engine because you're gonna get a double draw um, off of it. So it's more to play around the non-engine, non-engine. Non uh, but yeah, it, it doesn't have much more uh, interruptions. But yeah, the Amblo Whale is much better. But you can also have this depending on what you want, what you have. Uh, so yeah, these were the combos that you get off of the Snake Eyes engine. Uh, you can also, like, if you get the Bureau in that last line, you can one for one for a Snake Eye Oak, for example, or just a uh, Sinful Spoil for it, um, and get Oak, you get another thing. Uh, these lines also get more disruptions if Unicorn turns into um, an SP, uh, which is going to be on probably one of the next investments uh, alongside Access Code, if you're going into this, because... SP really, really, really is an important card, this format. Uh, but yeah, um, that's going to be it for today's video. It was a really, really long one, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope I was um, helpful to you. I know I probably spent most of the video like rambling about stuff, but yeah. Uh, that's gonna be it for today. If you like, if you enjoyed, drop a like down below. Comment if you have any suggestion or want to ask me any questions. I'll try always to answer as much as I possibly can. Um, subscribe to never miss any of my future uploads. And yeah, I'm gonna see you guys next time.